If there's one marker that you should pay close attention to, it's definitely your heart rate variability or HRV. Now, generally speaking, you do want to have a high HRV reading and you may be wondering now like why? What's the big deal? Well, having a higher HRV is definitely beneficial for a wide variety of conditions and suggests that you have excellent metabolic health. So in today's video, what I'm gonna do is share with you ways to actually increase your heart rate variability. And we'll go through some different strategies, both free and paid strategies to improve and enhance your stress adaptation and also boost your heart rate variability. So before we get into the video, let's actually understand a little bit about heart rate variability. Now, heart rate variability is different to heart rate. Your heart rate is basically measured in beats per second and is the average over one minute. Now, generally speaking, a lower heart rate suggests rest and relaxation and a higher heart rate induce, uh, basically indicates stress, exercise, or exertion. Now, heart rate variability, on the other hand, actually measure, measures the specific change in time or variability between successive heartbeats. So, I want you to understand this basic principle. Your heart does not beat like this. Not in a symmetrical, you know, pattern. It's actually, you know, in, it go, it go, it's actually asymmetrical. So it's not actually in sync in every second. It actually there's like slight variations between each heartbeat, and those variations are that's what's considered your heart rate variability. So how it actually differs between heartbeats. So here are the signs and symptoms of low heart rate variability. So we can see here these are the common symptoms and signs. First up, we have poor stress tolerance, poor resilience, difficulty recovering from training, and poor immune functioning. We also see that people with low HRV fatigue more easily have high sympathetic drive and can even show signs of anxiety, depression, low sex drive, and poor sleep. Now, let's take a closer look at some of the signs and symptoms if you have the opposite, which is a high HRV, which is what I personally have, thankfully, because I've you know deployed many different biohacks and I've improved my aerobic conditioning. But usually I sit around 110 to 120 for my HRV. So let's have a look at these symptoms and signs of a high HRV. We see excellent stress tolerance and resilience, faster recovery times and immune functioning. We also see more day-to-day -day energy, parasympathetic dominance and strong sex drive. People with higher HRV also have better aerobic fitness and higher VO2 max scores. So let's look at the first intervention to actually improve your heart rate variability score. Number one is actually using or jumping into a cold shower every single day. This has to be done on a regular basis so that your body builds stress, a stress adaptive response. And so we can see this study here was titled Autonomic Nervous Function During Whole Body Cold Exposure Before and After Cold Acclimation. And basically they, are, they outlined in the study that cold exposure on a semi-frequent basis can improve stress adapt adaptability, autonomic nervous system functioning, and also improve HRV. So cold showers is a basic intervention, but can actually work quite well. Uh, the next one is a supplement. Now, choline supplements, alpha GPC, CDP choline, these are the best choline supplements. And we can see how in this graph here, the changes in the sodium to potassium pump and also the acetylcholine that's released that actually changes the threshold potential for successive heartbeats. So this is really important to understand that actually acetylcholine can actually improve and optimize the parasympathetic nervous system. Next up, we have omega-3s or EPA, DHA. Now, EPA, DHA, many of you are probably already supplementing on a daily basis, but we can see this study here was titled Effects of Omega-3 Fatty Acids on Resting Heart Rate, Heart Rate Recovery After Exercise, and Heart Rate Variability in Men with Healed Myocardial Infarctions and Depressed Ejection Fractions. And so they are also identified in this study that omega-3 supplementation may actually be beneficial to increase heart rate variability. Now, the next intervention is probably the most effective intervention, and that is the Pulsetto device. Now, this particular device is quite unique. Uh, it's definitely one of its kind. Uh, it's, well, it's a one of a kind. Um, and so what I want to share here is the Pulsetto device as, a, as an intervention that you just basically put it around your neck, 
and you know, wear it around your neck for like four to 10 minutes per day. And that has been shown to improve HRV. So um, this particular device will be linked down below in the video description. If you do want to learn more about it or even give it a try, um, here's what they've documented with the uh, Pulsetto device. So lower anxiety, reduction in stress, it stimulates the vagus nerve. Now, we're talking about heart rate variability. And if we didn't mention the vagus nerve, then we'd be completely missing out on the most important subject or most important aspect of your HRV score. And that is actually having a, a strong stimulus for the vagus nerve. Now, the Pulsetto device actually you know, sends electrical signals to your this part of your neck, which actually is where the, the vagus nerve there's these uh, vagus nerve runs through here. So um, this also can support gut health because the parasympathetic nervous system helps with digestion. It helps with autoimmune disorders potentially, improves heart rate variability, as I mentioned. It may assist with ADHD it, and also may improve sleep as well. So the Pulsetto can be a game changer for optimizing sleep because it can help to reduce stress and cortisol because having a higher HRV score can actually help with um, lowering cortisol and improving melatonin response and thus improving overall sleep capacity and also sleep efficiency. So here's how the Pulse Setter actually works. Now, number one, power on and sync the device. So start by powering on with a button, press then sync with the app and it's basically ready to use. So you basically connect it to your phone, you apply a small amount of gel and then place the Pulsetto um, on points in the optimal skin uh, positioning here. So looking on your, you know, on your neck here, ensuring that it's, it sort of sits comfortably. And then basically all you need to do is open the app and pick the mode. So you can select either stress, anxiety, sleep, burnout, pain management, and you can relax with soothing waves of calm. So most people that use it notice the effects within four to five minutes. Um, and so what we need to understand here is what actually is vagus nerve stimulation or VNS. Now, vagus nerve stimulation is, as it's commonly used today, works by delivering electrical impulses to the vagus nerve, which is the major highway between your brain and internal organs. Now, using cutting edge technology, there is an ability to stimulate the vagus nerve using non-invasive vagus nerve stimulation or NVNS. That means no need for invasive surgery or for needles. Now, a study on cervical vagus nerve stimulation for stress reduction found that using VNS generated increased parasympathetic activity. Now, after VNS stimulation, the research observed a 64.5% increase in heart rate variability meaning a decrease in stress and anxiety for long-lasting relief. So it's scientifically proven to make a difference in only four minutes, and when your vagus nerve is switched on by Pulsetto, it should only take a maximum of four minutes for you to feel more relaxed. And in that time, your parasympathetic nervous system does its job, slowing, slowing down your heart rate, turning off the stress responses, and instilling calm across your entire body. So interestingly, 80% of Pulsetto customers see substantial improvements in their stress and anxiety levels after three to four weeks of usage. Now, the time necessary to see a difference varies from person to person and might range from one to two days all the way up to four to six weeks. So this is really remarkable technology. And the Pulsetto device is actually FCC certified this means that Pulsetto is approved for well-being use and compliant with strict laws at Federal Communication Commission. And they ensure that the Pulsetto is based on scientific evidence and is also safe to use. So that's it from the Pulsetto device. Again, if you want to actually check that out, it will be linked in the video description down below. And next up, we have the supplement called Eclonia Carver, which is a brown algae seaweed that actually has some effects on the GABA-A benzodiazepine receptor that can be taken in supplemental form that can actually improve HRV and increase your HRV. So that's another one to check out. Next up, we actually have to avoid sleep deprivation. So actually, you know, regularly sleeping less than seven hours per night 
and chronic sleep deprivation can actually lower your heart rate variability, increase plasma catecholamines and alter intracellular magnesium levels. So we need to make sure we're sleeping you know, consistently and for long enough periods of time. And then finally, we have GABA-infused oolong tea. So the effect of GABA-fortified oolong tea on reducing stress in a university cohort um, showed that this particular GABA-infused oolong tea helped to reduce stress and improve heart rate variability. So that pretty much wraps up today's video on how to boost your heart rate variability. If you did like this video, please like the video and hit subscribe down below to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research.